guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of Dropout Idol Fruit Tarts. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Okay, let's see what these girls get into today. I don't even remember <laughs> from the preview what the heck is going to happen today. Oh, Himmel. Oh, yeah! Okay, now I kind of remember. Oh god, I was choked. <laughs> mm -hmm. Water went down the wrong tube. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is the episode where they're supposed to have their concert. Or, no, 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 Cream, um, <clears throat> Roko's sister is having her concert, and Hamo is going to get them in. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. <laughs> Don't try to laugh and drink water at the same time. That is the worst thing <laughs> to do. <laughs> And then you choke and you're like, oh my god. <laughs> Hello, Kiwi. <laughs> the pervert. <laughs> Oh, she is hella similar to What's Her Face from, um, Dressing Parfait. Except, in that show, it was the blue-haired girl and not the pink-haired girl. The pink-haired girl was super-duper nice, and the blue-haired girl was such a bitch, but she had reason to be. <laughs> You're six centimeters taller than her, but I get that. about to ask you got embarrassing videos of that because I would love to see it. Yeah, I mean, well, working with them may help you, but I think it would help Fruit Tart a lot more because you guys are in a completely different league than the other girls. So, I mean, hey. <laughs> because, Roko, I mean, they're, you know... They them top idols. T 
top top idols so you need to get some professionalism from top idols I, I know I know I know it, it should be the other way around right but <laughs> oh god Yeah. <laughs> um. Not as big as him, oh, cause I mean, <laughs> well, no. When it comes to Eno, <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jesus. To cover her face. Really just her eyes. So she doesn't get recognized. But okay hold on. Like let's be a little smart about this. Someone's still probably going to recognize her due to her hair. That too. You need to wear something a little more professional than your school uniform. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I mean, but they say, and I've said it once and I'll say it again, you know, Sex cells. <laughs> Poor Rocco. <laughs> but yeah, it is true. Sex cells. <laughs> So <laughs> Oh God <laughs> He's so cute. Her favorite thing, Eno Senpai. <laughs> oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> I mean. You know, you sound a little pissed, even though we know you are. 
I know. It doesn't look good on you, ho ho. <laughs> but ho ho, it's written all over your face, babe. <laughs> Vogel, it's obvious you've been jealous of your sister since day one since we found out about your sister. They're flat chested, so you need to find someone else. Once again, the Yuri. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh, damn. Are you serious? Hamma, we know that. There's always that one. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay. I, I used to be like that too because I, I have thick thighs too. He has a ticket. Tone is just prepared for everything. Well, look, this is for you guys to be a little more popular. But you might like it by today. Who knows? I mean, <laughs> it's your sister and you're supposed to support her no matter what. Yeah, but seeing her live is so different.
Oh, okay. That's an interesting name for a song. It's so pretty. Oh my god. Still kind of wish they added subtitles on this because, bruh, I mean, like I said once before, between this and, um, <clears throat> D4 DJ and then every season, well, no, I think season one of Ben Bendity did it, but season two and season three of Bendity, they decide not to add, um, subtitles. And I know it's not, um, Funimation's fault. It's more of whoever is doing the subtitles for it but it would be nice i get the fact that like with some fan dubs it's like a little sweet thing that they that they put down especially when it's like aikatsu related because i think aikatsu was the only idol anime series besides a couple others that i know um i don't master i don't master did it as well with every show where somebody sang but you know, when you're watching an episode and you're like, damn, this is a good performance. I wonder what they're saying. And then you don't see it. But it's a good song. I do kind of hope that this show ends up, you know, releasing an album. Oh my god, look at that aura. <laughs> Good. I thought you would say good. Makes the most sense. You've probably been here the longest. <laughs> you got this. Think of something. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> oh, shit. I know, I mean, you've been in the entertainment biz the longest, so you would think she would have the best experience on it, but it's okay. <laughs> that is true. But baby, you're still known as your younger persona, and, and so, oh god, you know. <laughs> People that fetishize armpits? Nina!
no. No. I mean, we, we just now went into BDSM territory with that, but <laughs> that's what Emma was. Goddamn, Ho Ho, you already drunk. Wasn't that her first cup? How much you put in there? Yeah, well, yeah. You guys just need a little more training, and that's okay. <laughs> no. Well, no. She drunk on life. That's what <laughs> I'm ready to see what somebody does for Hemo. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Nasty smells like what? Time out. Time out. Nina, are you serious? Yeah, but we know Hemo's just gonna be writing a poem about you and how much she wants to be with you and maybe have your kids. <laughs> mm, to learn cuteness? You didn't say! Ho ho. Ho ho. <gasps> oh my god, that brown's so cute. Oh my god. <laughs> Meet the typical girl who just loves bras. And who just loves for shopping for laundry garments and it's yes me <laughs> but okay ho ho ain't say jack ish in this episode until the last few minutes about okay here's the reason why we wait you know you guys are recording next week right be like who said something last minute like oh my god <laughs> this chick and she says it while she's still a little drunk. Drunk sober. Like, buzz. <laughs> but yeah, I still love Rogo Sisters group. They're very interesting. I love Rogo Sisters. She might have to be, like, second best girl to Nina. Cause, but Nina, you, you kind of creep me out about the fact that, okay, with aromatherapy, I'm thinking, okay, this chick, like, really nice smelling things. Like, my favorite, like, sense of really pretty much anything i love vanilla i'm one of them traditional like girl like mm, bougie bitches who always like vanilla smells i like the smell of um cherry blossoms so japanese cherry blossoms ish like that i do love like mm, like brown sugar acid like, especially so you know like if you go to bath and body works or like um a perfume store ulta beauty whatever like me that is like 
the smells best thing ever or if you're just going to walmart or target and you see candles i am there <laughs> the smell of candles i mean i know like sometimes when you go to the store and you smell like a vanilla candle to me sometimes and it depends on where i go like if i go to walmart and smell a vanilla candle and then if i go to like big lots or target it like a vanilla smell does not always smell the same. Like, especially if you're smelling to someone that is like a birthday cake vanilla. And it's just like, these are two distinct different smells of vanilla, but they're still good. And you just, mmm. Or I like, um, orchids or anything that's like girly scented. Like, it, it just, mmm, smells good. Like, I don't like the smell of like, um... I think Febreze has it, like a cotton thing, like it just like fresh, anything that is fresh. Like I, I don't know how some people can have like fresh in their house, and I'm like, nah, bro, like that ain't it. That's not with me. Like, mm -mm. I don't know, cause like because I do have asthma and allergies and ish. The smell of anything that is just fresh, if it gets up in my nose, I'm like, hey, like no, mm -mm. this is just. <laughs> If I get Febreze, I gotta get, like, really nice, girly, scented ones to smell in my room. Because, like, the one that I have in my room, I had it turned up all the way, and it was just, like, boom in my face. But it smelled so good, and it still does. But, yeah, this was a cute episode. I loved the performance of, um, Roku Sisters Group. But, honestly, cannot wait to see these girls, like, finally do a recording session next week. Even though they didn't really show it in the preview. It was just them out shopping and us. So... I mean, no matter what, it's going to be a good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Dropout Idol Fruit Tart. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcher Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 7. Bye, guys.